When CPD detectives build a murder case and take it to the Cook County State's Attorney, sometimes charges are not approved. But if police believe they solved the crime and found the right suspect, they can declare the case closed and the investigation is effectively over. That happened more than 100 times last year, leaving families of victims without answers. I can't describe what I feel. I just know I felt a lot of pain. The loss still ripples through this family. Their beloved daughter and sister, Tiara Taylor, was shot and killed July 2020. No one has been charged in her death. You already lost your daughter, and now it's heartbreaking that, that, um, that you can't get any justice. This is police body camera footage of the night Taylor died, obtained by the I-team through a Freedom of Information Act request. No! No! No, man! In the video, you can see her husband, Gerard Wallace. I can't live without her, man! Wallace telling responding officers that the couple had an argument and fought over a gun. So tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. You guys got into we it? We got into it. Okay. And she, and we, and she pulled a gun on me. Okay. And we, we wrestled over the gun. The gun went off. Officers on scene took Wallace into custody. Wallace told authorities Taylor shot herself, but the medical examiner said that was not likely and nearly impossible. Detectives wrote he was the only person capable of causing the gunshot wound sustained by the victim. Prosecutors with the Cook County State's Attorney's Office rejected charges because they cannot defeat a future claim of self-defense by Wallace, nor his claims that Taylor was the aggressor. According to the police reports, prosecutors believed Wallace was lying about how the victim was shot and where the gun was at the time of the shooting, but still rejected charges. Gerard Wallace would not do an interview for this report, telling the I-team that she pulled the gun, he would be in jail if he had done something wrong, and that he doesn't like talking about the situation. This is really hard. This is hard for my family. I pray that I get justice. I pray somebody asks her for this. Police call this case exceptionally cleared because of a bar to prosecute. That means police and prosecutors believe they've fully investigated the case and identified the right suspect. But prosecutors don't think the case will ultimately hold up in court. Data obtained by the I-Team shows 135 Chicago homicides cleared this way in 2021. That is 34% of the homicides that CPD marked as solved last year. Cases closed, no charges. The people who survived the homicide, the parents, the wives, the children, friends, uh, are just devastated. When in their mind, the, the state hasn't acted responsibly to solve the crime. Charles Welford studies homicide investigations across the country. He tells the I-Team the way Chicago closes cases is unusual. Most agencies that my experience do not use what you're calling bar to prosecute as an exceptional clearance category. Chicago police officials would not do an interview for this report, telling the I-Team they use the FBI standard for defining exceptionally cleared cases when they encountered a circumstance outside the control of law enforcement that prohibits the agency from arresting, charging, and prosecuting the offender. The Cook County State's Attorney's Office also would not do an interview for this report, instead writing in a statement that they extensively reviewed the Taylor case and determined that the evidence didn't meet their burden of proof for murder charges. They add that they look at each case on its own merit and file charges when it's appropriate to do so. They say they approve charges in nearly 90% of adult felony cases in 2021. I just feel like they're not doing their jobs. They let it go as if she didn't matter. And she matters to us. She matters to her son. And she didn't deserve to die that something like this would happen. Now, as more than a year and a half has passed without answers, the victim's mother says she's disappointed police or prosecutors didn't do more in this investigation. The system doesn't work. It doesn't work for everyone. It's, um, it's heartbreaking, knowing that I would never get any justice for her. While last year's 400 homicide cases is the most that CPD has cleared in 19 years, in fewer than half of those cases, someone is actually facing charges, with 34% cleared by bar to prosecution and 17% of cleared cases linked to suspects who are dead.